Welcome back to the Advanced Interaction Story tutorial series. In today's video, we'll delve into button hold events and explore how to attach choices to actors. Let's jump right in. To begin, let's add a new cinematic to our story. Ensure that the quick time event of the previous cinematic is set to button hold. Provide an ID and text for the event. This type of event requires only one cinematic. Any additional ones will be disregarded. Next, let's incorporate the button hold event track into our sequencer. Configure the widget for it in the Properties section. While you can have multiple keys for this event type, we won't be using this feature for this particular cinematic. We'll opt for a 3D widget location type so that the widget can be attached to an actor. To make this feature work, the actor must be added to the sequencer. In this case, we'll attach it to the BP Square statue. Copy the actor's name and set it in the Properties section. Additionally, set the location ID, which will determine the precise widget placement. Within the Square Statue Blueprint, create a scene component to serve as the widget's location reference. Ensure that the blueprint implements the BPIQTE interface, which provides a function enabling us to specify a location based on an ID. Save your progress and run a test. The widget should appear on the right side of the square statue. Now, let's create another event. But this time use multiple keys. We can adjust the number of keys and choose whether to randomize them from the data table. Perform a test to verify that everything is functioning correctly. If you wish to design your own widget for this event type, duplicate the existing ones from the plugin folder into your project. Add UI elements from the design panel and override the events for the desired logic. For more comprehensive information about these events, Consult the documentation.
Thanks for watching.